breathe on me, breath of God. Fill me with life anew, that I may love what Thou dost love, and do what Thou wouldst do. Hello, and welcome to the prayer space today. My name is Rachel, and I am part of the leadership team for the prayer space. And today, we are going to talk about praying with our breath. Have you ever heard the phrase, pray without ceasing? Does that seem like an impossible practice? There's a very simple way to almost pray without ceasing without putting a lot of thought or effort into the practice. In fact, you'll learn today that it is indeed as easy as breathing. Let's begin our prayer time by reading scripture. Our scripture readings today all come from the epistles of Paul. It wasn't uncommon for him to repeat his advice and recommendations for how to follow Christ in letters to different churches throughout the ancient world. In fact, the idea of praying without ceasing is repeated in four epistles. First Thessalonians, Ephesians, Philippians, and Colossians. Listen to these verses from each epistle and listen for what they have in common. 1 Thessalonians chapter 5, verses 16 through 18. Rejoice always. Pray continually. Give thanks in every situation because this is God's will for you in Christ Jesus. And in Ephesians chapter 6, Verse 18, offer prayers and petitions in the spirit all the time. Stay alert by hanging in there and praying for all believers. In Philippians chapter four, verses four through seven, be glad in the Lord always. Again, I say, be glad. Let your gentleness show in your treatment of all people. The Lord is near. Don't be anxious about anything. Rather, bring up all of your requests to God in your prayers and petitions, along with giving thanks. Then the peace of God that exceeds all understanding will keep your hearts and minds safe in Christ Jesus. And then in Colossians chapter four, verses two through four, keep on praying and guard your prayers with thanksgiving. At the same time, pray for us also. Pray that God would open a door for the word so we can preach the secret plan of Christ which is why I'm in chains. Pray that I might be able to make it as clear as I ought to when I preach. Thank you, Becky. So Paul uses the phrase pray continually or something similar in almost a third of his epistles. This was clearly important to him to feel it necessary to repeat it to different churches throughout the world. I think that he wanted to emphasize that our relationship with God through our connection to Jesus is always with us, even when we get caught up in our daily lives. But how are we supposed to achieve prayer without ceasing? How can we engage in prayer continuously with busy lives and the dozens of distractions that we are faced with every day? There is one constant in all of our lives, something that is always with us and always accessible something given to us by God, our first connection with spirit, our breath. 
Today, we will learn how to unite breath and prayer in a simple, accessible way. This is a practice, a way of praying that you will be able to do literally anywhere and anytime. We have done a few different prayer practices akin to meditation and contemplation in this prayer space since it began last summer. So it may seem like breath prayer would be just another form of this type of prayer. To be honest, it could be, but in this case, it's not. This is a way to carry a prayer with you everywhere, just as our breath is with us everywhere we go. Breath prayer has entire books dedicated to its practice, so it is definitely something that you can continue to explore in more depth in the future. For today, though, we're going to go through a few simple steps. After today, you should have a method that you can call upon at any given time, using your prayer from today or creating a new one as needed on the fly. It really is that simple and powerful. The simple steps are to use your preferred address for God. Imagine that God is asking you what you want from them and then combine those together and marry them with your breath. People do this in breathwork meditation, while walking, while running or exercising, while doing chores, literally anytime, anywhere. Let's begin our practice. If you want to write down the prayer that you come up with, grab a pen and paper, but it should be simple enough for you to recall easily. Let's begin. Close your eyes. Begin to pay attention to your breath. Think about God and think about which of God's names most deeply resonates with you. It could be creator, father, mother, friend, Lord, Abba whatever speaks to you and feels right. So we'll take a moment to come up with that name for God that we want to use. Now imagine you are standing before God. Before you are even able to say a word, God asks you a question. What do you need from me? Take a breath and think about one thing that you need or desire from God. It could be anything. I need healing. Please keep my family safe. Help me to know you're near. Combine these two thoughts together as one phrase, such as, Lord, I need healing. Last night when I was watching the verdict come in for the Chauvin trial, um, I was suddenly noticed my heart was racing and I was nervous and worried about what was going to happen. And I remembered that I was researching this practice and I used it. Um, and I said, God, let there be justice. Let God, let there be justice with each breath. So now that you have your phrase, bring your breath and your prayer together. As you inhale, say the name for God in your mind. As you exhale, share the request part. So in the example that I gave last night, I would inhale thinking God and exhale thinking, let there be justice. Or as Chad proposed last night, inhale Jesus, exhale, take the wheel. So let's go ahead and just take a few moments to practice this. Quietly breathing in and out, calling to God on the inhale and making our request on the exhale.
Good. And I'll just close with a quick prayer. God, we thank you for the gift of breath. We thank you for the ability to talk to you whenever and wherever we think about it. Let us remember this practice as we go through our days, whenever we want to take a breath, take a pause, whenever we feel inspired to speak to you, let us take this simple phrase, pair it with our breath and call on you. Amen. All right, so, Does anyone want to share their phrase? Go on, Tina. That's right. Go ahead. I'm not going to. For me, it was let there be peace with using Lord. I always start, thank you for your love. Mine was give me strength. Hmm. That's a good one. Mine was come into my heart and hold my hands. Very nice. <clears throat> so does this practice help you to believe that praying without ceasing might actually be possible? I'm, I'm going to say yes, only because I know um, desert fathers and mothers used to use the Jesus prayer mm -hmm. as a way to try to pray unceasingly where you say it until it finally becomes part of your heart. Mm. Can you imagine a situation in your daily life where this would be useful? Oh, yeah, absolutely. When you're in a stressful situation or know you're going into one, um, I found it can be very calming, soothing. And, that, and there's a breath prayer that I was introduced to years ago. And when you breathe in, you say, Lord, let there be more of you in me. And on the exhale, you would say, let there be less of me in me. Mm -hmm. And that has a very calming. But powerful. Yeah. Yeah. I like that, that invitation aspect of it. All right. Does anyone think they might give this one a try? If you haven't used it previously? I've used it in, in the past, usually when I'm feeling overwhelmed. Mm. Uh, for whatever reason, uh, it's not only my children, <laughs> but I, I think that, you know, just having brought it to mind again in such a powerful way that my intention is to, to try it each day to see if I can build a habit, a practice. Nice. That's really good. All right. Well, thank you all so much for coming. Anyone is welcome to join us live on Wednesdays via Zoom. You can always find us on YouTube as well. If you click playlists, once you arrive at the Narden Park UMC channel, you will find a list of all of the prayer spaces that we've done. Next week, Chad will be talking to us about how to pray when you need to make a really big decision. <laughs> Breathe on me, breath of God, till I am holy thine. Unto this earthly part of me glows with thy fire divine.